Okay, so we got a. I always start my videos with okay. I hope nobody minds. Here we have a loaf of beautiful loaf of bread that the wife baked. And the whole idea being is, is an electric slicer worth the expense? Uh, this one was roughly about a hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah, about a hundred bucks. But we've had this for probably upwards of 20 years. But we've used it probably more in the last couple of years once we set up our homestead than ever before because we slice a lot of different things. Uh, bread, we make, uh, we have a video out on making salami and we slice that for our lunches, lunch meat. We also slice turkey, breast, ham, whatever we uh, are going to make lunch meat out of, we slice. The uh, pastrami? Yep, yeah, the pastrami we bought, we made, not bought, can't buy it here, that's why we made pastrami here. That's <laughs> awesome. Anyhow, um, we also slice, uh, we buy our cheese in blocks. We don't do the cheese food, the slimy stuff that they sell. Uh, no thank you. We buy blocks. It's less than $4 a pound for solid blocks of cheese. And we slice it with this machine for our uh, lunch, you know, lunches and whatever. Uh, anything else we slice? We're going to try some. Yeah, we're... we're She's she's doing carrots right now. She's clearing cleaning them because she's going to be canning them tomorrow. So maybe if you're real lucky, I will attempt to slice them live on this video. So first, let's slice this loaf of bread so you can see what you get when you have a slicer. Of course, mine this this knob the power knob is broke, but it'll stay down now because of it. Excuse me, I'm going to move you here a little bit. I don't want to cut my finger off. A little loud, isn't it? It's not too bad here. Safety first. See here, I can leave the heel big enough to use. Now then, I stack it like that, so all I gotta do is take my bread wrapper, put it down on there, flip it over, ta-da, and it's bagged up. This has been working awesome for us. We make all our own bread. Um, so, you can see how it comes out. It looks really great, evenly sliced. I guess you can see that. Of course, we buy these at Walmart. They're bread. They're actual bread bags. I guess they're called. Is that what they're called? Uh, no, they're just bags with ties. I don't know. Well, it shows bread on it. They're called tie bags because of the the tie. They're not Ziploc or anything. And this here, I'll actually put this loaf in the freezer where I had a little bit. So we'll freeze our couple of those. And uh, I'll be back here in a couple of minutes with those carrots to see how that goes. Okay, she says she wants them this thickness, okay? So, let's set it. Oh, they've been gone forever. I just threw one on the floor I'll have to rewash. Hmm, this is not starting good. <laughs> okay, no. Right there, I think it's about a five or a six. Yeah, I think five is under what she wants. I don't know. We'll try a five here. Now I'm only going to try one at first, and then I'll eventually try two or three at a time. How's that? Nice and even one for, the... for canning. Yep, did I lose one? Yep. It's a good thing I cleaned the counter before I started, huh? Uh, Where did the other one go? Oh, it's right down there. Let me get it. 
Press to put the carrots in. Okay, that has to sit back here. And I'll rinse this off. And I want to try multiple carrots this time. We're still recording. So you're going to get to see me try multiple carrots. Now you talk about exciting now. <laughs> here we go. Okay, yeah. I had to check and make sure we were still in the kitchen. I need a couple more. How many do you want me to do at a time? I don't know. Get, get four, I guess. Four. Okay, and let me rinse them. Get those two washed. Now I have a different lengths in these, so. Uh huh. I will set them all up at. I don't know. If I should do the sh do the long bits first and tore that up. Short. If you. Put oh, a short. I see. Alternate them. Yeah. That's a good idea. That kind of squared them up, huh? It okay. makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. If you mattered about that, but it I'd is. rather not. But okay. it happened. It happened. Well, we can cut them into smaller bits. I can chop those up. I can dice those. Yeah, whatever. And and dry them. However you want to deal with those, it did it. So I went with it just to see. Anyhow, there you are, folks. Uh, I think we're gonna love it for carrots because we're gonna really zip through these mm -hmm. quite easy. Yeah, twenty-five pounds of carrots. Yeah, we have twenty-five pounds to get sliced up to to can. So that's why, uh, well, hang on, before we go, uh, I want to show you the cheese. Go ahead and grab these chunks here. Keep them entertained, dear. <laughs> I will take these and put them in my dicer and make small pieces and put them in the dehydrator. That's be, I, always, what, I like dehydrating carrots and vegetables and stuff. I'm not doing this here because I want to show off any names here or anything, but that's the, the cheese we sliced, and after it's sliced, this is what it looks like. And that's what we use on our sandwiches. Pretty much everything that we need sliced cheese for. And we slice doing? all that on here, too. Yep, yep. So the machine's used a lot in our household. If it yeah. breaks, I will buy another, but I can understand somebody else doesn't want to spend the money because you can do all this by hand. Yeah, but, but uh, if you want consistency, this works great. Consistency, uh, arthritis, you got pains, and this is a good way to go. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of reasons that you would want one. And we were looking on Amazon, and they've actually got some down to, what was it, $60 or yeah. something? Yeah, And I don't know if I'd buy one that cheap, but then again, who knows? Like, dude, well, this one was we, cheap when we bought it. <laughs> this one was $100, and it's been over 15 years, I'm sure. Yeah, I said 20 but it's, that's at least 15 and, well, and uh, this knob broke. Yeah, but we've used and, it so much. Well, I went online, tried to buy it, and they told me, quite frankly, hey, it's a throwaway unit. Throw it away and buy a new one. Oh, no, I can still use it, so. Yeah, we, we still <laughs> use it. I'm not going yeah. there. And maybe we'll buy a new one one year, one of these days, where it just depends on. Well, when it goes out, because there's nothing wrong with this one. Right. And we're cautious with it. I mean, that's a safety device. Yes, it is. It's to keep your fingers and, out of there. Uh, we, we pretty much watch what we're doing, so for the for the whole, I think. What do you say? You want to see the big carrot get sliced, huh? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> watch where your fingers are. It's going that fast. Ta-da! Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it went to... T the, the power button. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm telling you, that there thing you is go. a pain in the butt. But I think, you know, from slicing for canning, I think the consistency is going to be fantastic. Isn't that beautiful? And you, you sure that's what you want? Yeah. Great. They taste good just looking at them. 
Yep. All righty. Hope you enjoyed that bit of info there on Just a quick video. slicers. Whether you, uh, you know, if you think you might like one, that's how we use ours. And like I said, we'd replace it if it went bad. So we're sold on them. Yeah. And we do not make any money off this video. We are not sponsored by anybody. Just our little disclaimer there. Right. I probably should have put that at the beginning. Oh well. Whatever. <laughs> Anyhow, y'all have a good day. Lord bless you. And see you later.